Lindenwood head coach Jed Stugert, uh, the Lions off to a 2-0 start, took care of business against Kaiser in their home opener. This week, another uh, big game, their OVC opener. They're going to go to nationally ranked UT Martin uh, on Saturday. So uh, coach us some thoughts on your team, and then uh, we'll I'll take some questions about UT Martin too. Well, I think we we did what we asked them to do. You know, it, it, this was a, you know, you know, yes, we're excited. We're, we're two and oh, um, but we did what we asked the kids to do. And that, you know, that was be focused against a, you know, this was a team that's playing in a lower division. We, we expected to win. We needed to win. It's, it was a great atmosphere. It's a great home opener. Um, but we, you know, we're realistic. We know what uh, this is going to be our biggest test to date is, uh, is coming up against a really, really good football team. And, um, and the, you know, uh, you know, and so our, you know, they stayed focused. They didn't let one slip away. Cause you know, sometimes, you know, this, I, they didn't believe me, I think in the first quarter till the first quarter that these acts, Kaiser's actually really good. I think they just, you know, so after we got through halfway through the first quarter, we kind of woke up, we started playing. So, you know, uh, those are always ones that keep you up at night is when you're playing a team that you're supposed to beat and you have nothing to gain from it. And, and I was proud of them, you know, they were able to, uh, not, you know, they played well. They, we didn't play sloppy. We got it done. Um, Cade, we, when you talked about him at, at, at football media day, you, you talked about the skills he had in the last, you know, full year he played. He, he sort of showed that, and he's got some weapons to throw the ball to. So no, no matter which level of team you're playing, can you talk about some, you know, hidden, hidden Payton and hidden Kobe and some of those things? Yeah, Cade just, you know, um, it was good, you know, for him. To, this is really his second game. You know, he was out for – four games last year. So he, he didn't play, you know, he hadn't played a football game in a while. And, it, you know, I could see in week one, he was a little antsy and some things and just getting back into it last week, he started looking a lot more like, you know, kind of what he looks like uh, being confident in the pocket. And, and I think, you know, we've had, uh, we've had some weapons in the receiver core for the last couple of years, but I think Adam Kobe, um, you know, and a lot of attention's gotten to Kobe. You can kind of see going into both games, there's a lot, um, and, you know, you just, Peyton's one of those guys just kind of goes under a radar once in a while. You know, he's a he's a type player. He's just a playmaker. You know, they Caden Caden Peyton have been together for you know five years now. You know, so they they know each other. They know what they know what they're going to eat in the morning before anybody even orders it. Kind of a deal. So yeah. Uh, and then just what playing at home? How was that atmosphere being there and this the, the excitement around the the, the program? Well, it was awesome. It was our, they had the, the school family day. We'll have our football family uh, day too at the end of the season too. But, um, you know, having family weekend, uh, you know, that the crowd was outstanding. Our student body was absolutely phenomenal. I, 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 I can't tell them enough. I wish I could get them all, uh, you know, have them show up. They had such a great experience. You know, we started the uproar, which is a new uh, kind of uh, student crazy uh, section in the, in the stands. And they really, uh, came out and it was awesome. So, um, you know, I know there's been a lot of excitement with this new era and a lot of our fans came out to be able to, to watch it. And, uh, it was, it was a great atmosphere. You know, we've had, you know, we got unveiled our new video board, which was awesome. And, and, um, you know, just to see that that's been kind of a dream of ours for a little bit. So it's kind of to see that actually come to fruition. And in our first game, it's been kind of fun. And, uh, uh, but the atmosphere was absolutely outstanding. And I, you know, um, I just can't say enough, you know, um, the guys behind the scenes that just never, you just never, people just don't know, you know, I think Austin and, and, you know, Austin and his crew, um, uh, you know, Nick, um, you know, I don't know if you guys are watching, but it's just one of these things where these guys were worked their tail off with all the challenges of a new video board, a new scoreboard, and all the stuff they did. It's just, uh, it's just awesome. Well, you referenced in your opening statement, going to go on the road against a team that's ranked. Uh, they've played a top five FCS team and then an FBS team the last two weeks. So, what have you seen uh, from uh, UT Martin? No, just just well coached. I mean, they're just they've got good football players. They're well coached. They um, you know, they can, uh, they're very sound too. I mean, you know, I think they run to the football, you know, you see defensively, um, you know, the big guys too. I, mean, I, I just, I just know it's a really good team. I, you know, I think it's, um, you know, our kids, you know, we're really good about really speaking reality. We, you know, I'm a half full positive guy a lot, you know, but I'm, you know, we also, we got to let them know what we're going up against too. We, you know, we're going to be, uh, 
uh, you know, this is going to be our first game. It's going to be very similar to our environment when we went to South Dakota State and the type of play, team that that uh, they played. Even, you know, we, we know there's going to be a difference in the team that we played against Houston Baptist to, uh, compared to a team that we're playing. But we don't paint false narratives to our guys. We have to go in and play really sound football um, and, and put ourselves in a position to win uh, each quarter. You know, if we can kind of keep – you know, keep chipping away, you know, because it's going to be a tough game. We know that, but we also feel like we have a team that believes uh, we're, 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 we believe we're, we belong here. We, we belong, we believe that we can compete. Um, and uh, we're, we're excited to take on the challenge, but we're, uh, this will be our first test. And it kind of gives us an idea of where, where our team is in this conference. So we have to come out and prepare great this week and, and kind of see where we, where we stack up a little bit. And numbers are what they are, and especially two or three games in, you can make them say whatever. But uh, UT Martin tackles for loss and, and defensive right there. You're obviously up there in defensive numbers, too, in, in two games. But I would think the, the defensive toughness of UT Martin would be something that you, you said you haven't seen your toughest test. Absolutely. I mean, we, like I said, it's fun. It, it is fun. We don't downplay um, – you know, we don't downplay any stuff of the excitement that our fans and, and that we're having in these first two games. But, you know, I think, uh, you know, so it's awesome that we have uh, some of these cool things. Now, I do, I, I do, we do think it's awesome, our, our players of the week and those things like with Kate and, and you know, um, you know, the things this week. But I'm, I'm saying realistically, you know, we have to, our, you, and you look at who UT Martin's played and you kind of see the kind of statistics they're having against some of the quality opponents they've played. Um, and the same with us, it's like, we don't pound our chest and say, Hey, we're, we're you know, we're, the, these are the stats we've had in our games because, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we, uh, we feel like we played two teams that we expected to win. Um, and, and, you know, but we, we always throw those away and we have to move on and, um, you know, and so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, like I said, I think our kids have paid real close attention. I think they see it as a great opportunity. You know, there is no fear in what we're doing. We're, we don't fear anybody. We respect every opponent. Um, and, and, and I think they know, um, you know, that I liked our meeting, you know, here the other day, just they're focused, you know, they're, they're really excited about this challenge. And, uh, and so are we. And some people must have been paying attention because you got a couple of votes in the coaches poll after your two and O start. So um, people are taking notice, I guess. Well, yeah, that, that's the kind of stuff I thought it's, it's fun for your kid. You know, they've worked their tail off and, you know, they, you know, they, they kind of go where we're led and we, we got thrown in this fire, um, you know, uh, just a few months ago, you know, most transitions happen over a year, you know, you, you get a year to transition that we, we got thrown in the fire right away. And I, I love it for our seniors that, you know, didn't have to wait a year. They can go tackle this right now. And, and so we, uh, you know, I'd rather, you know, I'm kind of glad we're just getting into it right now instead of having to wait a year through a transition. And so, uh, but we know that there's, there's challenges. I think it's a, it's really an exciting thing, but we, yeah, I love those kind of things that our players could say, Hey, we're, when and was recognized and got some votes, we get that, but we're very, we're very humble about that too. We know that, you know, we haven't really proven anything yet. So that's our job is to go out and, and go play to the best of our ability and kind of see, uh, see where the chips fall at the end of the game on Saturday uh, by giving your best effort. Then we'll kind of know uh, where, where we're starting to, where we're starting to be. Well, that's perfect coach. And if you win on Saturday, you'll get some more recognition, I'm sure. So <laughs> uh, thanks for your time. Uh, best of luck uh, this weekend. We'll talk to you next Tuesday. Thanks Kyle. Appreciate you, man.